honestly. <laughs> well, I, I am one of his partners. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I said you were a wonderful teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, Amigo, sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Good. So the first run is uh, uh, a uh, observation on my part. So 25 miles an hour, second gear, steady throttle. Turn your bike back and forth as quickly as you're comfortable. Do the same thing coming back to me. Okay. I don't need to see crazy lean angle. I'm just looking for... My tires are not scrubbed in. Yeah, they're, they don't need... Uh, in a parking lot, they scrub in. Okay. That's fine. So I just don't need. Today. Okay, yeah, fine. No, they'll be. They'll, yeah, I just need to see crazy lean angle because they're cold. Okay. Okay. All right. Twenty-five second gear. Let me see you turn it as quickly as you're comfortable. Okay. Okay. probably doing about 40 I just want about 25 so I can get more turning out of you okay good I'm gonna turn off for a sec okay. now if you're gonna steer the bike to the left show me what you do to the left yes got it good so we're gonna do an experiment at step one so am I not counter steering well if you're steering it this way to go left I want you to experiment with this okay no, every time you guys ask me I know it's wrong I'm supposed to do this way to go left are you sure though yes I'm sure because sure. yeah. no I don't know I got that bike screwed me up today. That one over there? Yeah. The, oh, the trainer. Yeah, that's just a, a control it, it, trainer. It got me. I'm on camera. I'm almost got knocked off it. My whole. Oh goodness. Okay. Everything. I'm like in shell shock. Okay. But I'll do what you want me to. I'll, I'm not gonna argue. I'll do what <laughs> you ask me to do. Well, I, I, if there's any doubt, I mean, normally when a guy shows me, you know, go left, he does this, which some people do, and then I say, well, let's just clear it up. So that, okay. and the way that I normally do that is we'll do a run where you 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 get it up into second gear and now go straight, no weaving, no turning, and just relax the left hand, take it off, put it on your on your pants or something, and then push forward on the right bar so we've eliminated everything else and observe what the bike does. Okay. And answer for yourself what happens when you push the bar forward. I'm not counter steering, am I? Well let's find out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, good. Good, so you understand this? Up into second gear, 25 miles an hour, take the left hand off, press forward on the right bar. Okay. Good. the bike go? It went left. So you press this way and the bike went that way? Mm -hmm. Good, let's do it again. Now, you need to make sure that you've done, eliminated everything else. Ideally, you would even do it kind of open palm and you just push forward on the right bar. Okay. Now, when you're doing this, I don't want you weaving or going back and forth. Just go straight, press on the right bar. Right? If you have enough room, press again. And get okay. to the end, both hands on the bars, turn around, and do the same experiment coming back to me. Make it a definite <laughs> press on the bar. Not a jab or a punch, but a press. Okay. Press forward. Okay. Good.
excellent, good. Now, here's the deal. You've been doing this every time you ever steered the bike with any efficiency, whether you knew it or not. Good. Now, and you're a good sized guy, so if anybody could uh, affect the bike with his body weight, you could, but really, it's just the counter steer. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to experiment with this and doing it consciously and a little tiny pressure with, with the knees on the tank. Uh, and paying attention to the forward pressure and not downward pressure to make it steer and steer exactly where you want it to go. Good, you see that? Okay. What's your name, by the way? I forgot to ask. Good. 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 I feel like such a movie. What's that? I feel like I'm like, I'm in so humbled. Dude, this is, there was a guy that had been riding for like 60 years and, and he didn't know this. So this is not I mean, a I, I've watched the code corner steering. I just always, always did it. I, mean, yeah. I didn't do it. I didn't. You were. You were. We're just now making it more conscious and making it more efficient. That's the whole reason for this exercise, which we consider a vital exercise at the Super Bike School. So this is, this is, this is good stuff. And you're doing just fine. Now, just a little bit more consciously pressing forward to get to go where you want it to go. Okay. Good. Now, you're, you're pretty decent on the next piece, which is, I'm gonna turn it off for a second. Okay. The next big piece of this is that the rider goes in conjunction with the bike. Okay. Sometimes you do, sometimes not always. On the right hand side, sometimes you press on the bar and then you go a little bit like that. Okay. Right? Uh, sorry, press on the bar and you, you stay up a little bit. That's right. So what I want now, hands on both bars for a second, and you'd be looking up. Right? So when you press forward on the bar, you and the bike go over together. Okay. And then you release the pressure and the bike will stay at that lean angle until you counter press on this hand You go this way. Okay. Now, just to make it clear, since the bars are connected, you can press forward on the right bar or you can pull back on the, uh, sorry, press forward on the right bar or pull back on the left and it's the same thing as far as the bike is concerned. Typically, if a rider presses, it'll get them to go with the bike better and they're a little stronger in this pressing thing than this pulling thing. So okay. that's why we teach press or push forward. Okay. Good. So now I want you to go with the bike when you do this. Okay. Good. towards me so I can see you because I can't see you if you're way over there. So just okay. come back and point it more a little bit towards me and pay a little attention on the right hand side because every left looked good but on the right there was sometimes a little of this where I want that. Okay. Good. About 90%. Come okay. back coming uh, come back in my direction. Alright. No faster, maybe a little slower. A bit slower? Just a hair so we get some more steering done. Okay.
That's what I'm looking for. Okay. You get the idea? Good. Good. I can ride. I just, I don't know. Well, these are just things that we look at to see if we can make your job a little easier, a little better. Yeah. All right. Good. So we had you uh, cleared up, made sure the counter steering was all clear. Uh, we got, we got, uh, got you a little better anchor to the bike. Right. Didn't I talk to you about squeezing the tank a little bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. It's just, yeah. Good. This is a lot of guys don't do that. And then we got you going with the bike totally, and that's what I wanted to see. And that's the major part of the section. Right. How was my speed doing? Yeah, it's good. It's good. You can you can work on that. That's something that you know the speed of steering is something that you gradually improve. So it can get a little bit better, but it got better, and you went with the bike, and that's what I wanted to see. Said, you need to make me happy. You did. All right. Yeah, right. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Practice. Face this way, sure. so I'm blocking the wind. <clears throat> okay, so that drill you were doing today is a very basic drill, but it's, it improves your riding so much. Can we talk about that drill a little bit? It's uh, the drill that Keith uh, uh, basically did all the research on. It's our steering exercise. Okay. And the coaches have to be pretty thoroughly trained on all the different pieces of, of that because okay. we look for a lot of things. Yes. And then we just we tackle one major piece at a time. Okay. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, I can't tell you, you know, weeks of training or however many days it takes to do it. It just it's, no, no. It's, coaches are all trained. Uh, right. They actually finish their first level of training and they don't even learn how to do that until their second level of training. Understand. Yeah. 